Hello, hello, Kenny Evans here. Another car video. The topic of this video is women stop putting a price on sex. So, <laughs> before I get into that, hey, I want to let y'all know this channel is all about helping both men and women be the best they could be in all aspects of your, their lives. Uh, not only dating relationships, but health, wealth, and mindsets as well. I want y'all to be the best versions of yourselves. And also, um, I know we have some new people here. Welcome. I know we got some people who've been returning. Welcome. And for y'all who have not done so, hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification button as well so you'll be notified for whenever I upload some new videos. Thank you. Let's get back into this topic at hand. Women stop putting a price on sex. Very important topic here because a lot of women think sex is so valuable and i get it because society and feminism and all this stuff and they think that uh sex is the most important thing to men and to a certain extent because of men they are right but the men that they attract who think that way are not high um they're not strong men let me say that they're not strong men so um i want to talk about this give y'all Four reasons women should stop putting a price on sex and one bonus at the end. So stay till the end. You know, so um, first reason. First reason. Knowing your worth before sex is not good because at the end of the day, um, we're all equal, you know, and you're putting a price on yourself because of your sex. And you have sex with somebody, but the problem is not that you had sex with the person before you got anything, is whatever you were putting up with before the sex and still putting up with it afterward. Knowing your worth is after you know what they offer, and if they're still treating you bad, then you're gonna re release, you're gonna move on. Not before. You know what I mean? That's knowing your worth, but doing it before sex, it's like you're putting yourself, you know. A price on a price tag on yourself, so it's not good. Now, for me, my dick is is priceless. It doesn't mean I'm going to give it to everybody. I'm still very selective who I give it to, but it is priceless, and that's what your your pussy should be. You know, it should be priceless. You should be selective to who you give it to, but still, you shouldn't have be looking for a price when it comes to sex. Second reason here, you know, um, stop waiting a certain amount of dates that someone else is paying for before sex. Again, you say, oh, if you go three dates, uh, then I'll have sex with you. Oh, if you, you know, you go five dates, you wait a month, then I'll have sex with you. That's a problem because, again, you're putting a price on yourself. You know what I mean? Because if that's what it takes, some guys will hit it and then they'll quit it. You know what I mean? So you just got to understand. And it just it just devalues you as well because you have a price. You know? Stop putting the price on sex. It's not good. You, know, you don't want to be doing that because at the end of the day, you, especially if you have, if you you want to have sex with a guy, and then you're purposefully waiting, <laughs> it's just not good. That's the problem, you know, because you're putting that price, you're putting a certain amount of dates, and you're just losing value in the guy's eye. Sure, if you got weak men, they'll want to pursue and keep on pursuing you after you make them wait and constantly. You know, play all the games and do all the dates, but a strong man, he's not going to wait. You know, and sure, maybe one, two, you know, dates, maybe three if you're really cool, you know, but after that, now, nah. now we're just wasting time. But yes, third reason. You have to understand that having someone buy you stuff and or do stuff to you sexually before you give them sex is not good. It looks insecure. 
Where, oh, you got to do something with me first before I do something with you. Knowing you want to do something with them, but you want them to, you know, please you first. Or they got to buy you flowers, or they got to buy you a watch, or they got to buy you a bag. It's like, again, <laughs> it's like it's like a prostitute or escort. Oh, you got to give me a certain amount of money before, you know, I, I give sex to you. It just doesn't look good. You know, you are not showing value to yourself because you have a price. You know what I mean? And especially when you want to have sex with a person, but you say, oh, you got to do this first. It's, it's, a, it's an insecurity. It's, it's, a, it's a weak tactic for weak women. For weak men. Men of value, men, strong men will not put up with that. You know, and I want y'all women who are watching this to be strong women. Stand out from the crowd. You know, don't be like all these other women out here. You know what I mean? Do not be like those women. You know, so it just does not look good. You know, having people buy stuff. Sure. You know, for the men you, you're able to pull that off on, hey, it makes you look good, makes them look bad. But again, those are weak men. And you're a weak woman for doing that. You know, so... But yeah, you just don't want to be doing that too much, man. It's just, or even at all, because it just does not look make you look good to strong men. And if you are still here, thank you. I appreciate it. But subscribe and hit that notification button. Again, thank you. I appreciate it. So the fourth reason. Sex is your mutual act. If we have sex with each other consensually between two consenting adults, you get pleasure, I get pleasure. I may orgasm, you may not orgasm, you may orgasm, I may not orgasm. But it's a mutual act regardless. Two human bodies are coming together. Sex is for pleasure and reproduction. That's it. You know what I mean? It's not for anybody... Having to pay for certain things. Oh, now you get sex if you give me this. No. You're devaluing sex. You know. Because it shouldn't have a price. It's just what you want to do with someone you're sexually attracted to. Be discreet. Be safe. Be clean. But don't put a price on it. It's a human act. Between two consenting adults. And it's mutual. You get pleasure. I get pleasure. Don't put anything more on it. You know what I mean? Don't complicate it. It's not good. Don't complicate it. But yes. Um, we got the bonus. We have a bonus here. And it could explain the reason a lot of you women are single. So listen up, you single women who are looking for a relationship. You know, so the bonus is if sex is the most valuable thing you offer, then you will be left afterwards. Sure, you will have some guys who just wanted to have sex with you and they'll leave. But some guys, if they got to know you and they still were sexually attracted to you, but they didn't like you as a person, but they still, they liked you sexually, they'll have sex with you, but then they'll leave you. If you're not a good person, you're not submissive, you're not helpful, you're not intelligent you're not funny you're not relaxing easy to be around you're not uh, uh you don't follow the lead you don't make their life easier or better outside of sex then they'll only use you for sex because either that they'll only use you for sex or they'll leave you after they they get their sex from you but they're not gonna uh, um, uh, get in a relationship with you you know because you don't have anything more to, uh, to offer than sex the most valuable thing you offer is sex. Why would somebody want to stick around with you if the most valuable thing you offer is sex? No cooking, no cleaning, just sex. You know? And that's for you putting a price on your on your sex. So you got to stop doing that. But yes, and that's all I got for y'all here today. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. Uh, let me know um, if you like my list. Let me know if you dislike my list. Let me know if I 
hit a lot of things spot on. Let me know if I missed some things. You know, um, of course, um, again, this channel is not just for me. It's for all of us, but it's mainly for y'all. Help y'all get better in all aspects of your life. But let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. Not only just dating relationships, but health, wealth, and mindset as well. Um, of course, if you find value in the video, donate. I appreciate all donations. And I hope y'all, you know, y'all stay safe for next week. You know, and um, I'll see y'all then. And I will see y'all then. I hope I will see y'all then. And of course, always remember, the strongest man is the happiest man.